Adi Gallia was a Jedi Master who sat on the Jedi High Council during the Clone Wars. Participating in many encounters during the conflict, the Falofian proved to be an aggressive warrior and a focused individual. As well as being an excellent pilot, Adi was a very skilled swordsman. However, her skills just fell short against Savage Opress. Welcome to the Cancrazan Star Wars Lore Episode 112, The Life of Adi Gallia. Adi Gallia was born on the planet Foloff into a noble family. However, she never lived there long as she soon found herself training in the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. But as a token to her homeworld's heritage, Gallia wore a traditional headdress. Proving to be a gifted Jedi, she quickly rose through the Order's ranks, eventually becoming a master. By the time Qui-Gon Jinn presented Anakin Skywalker to the High Council, Adi was seated on the governing body. Just like the other members, she was shocked to hear Jinn's claims that the Sith had returned. Not long after, the Separatist crisis led to the Clone Wars, where the Galactic Republic were forced into using a clone army against the CIS's forces. Becoming a Jedi General in the Grand Army of the Republic, Gallia was dispatched alongside Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker to rescue the kidnapped Eve Koff, a fellow Council member. The Jedi Master was captured by General Grievous and his fleet, which was stationed in the Silocami system. As a diversion, Kenobi commanded the bridge of a Republic light cruiser. Grievous was lured onto the ship where Obi-Wan's forces engaged the cyborg. During this time, Skywalker, Captain Rex, a group of clone troopers and Gallia utilised a Jedi Ambassador shuttle to reach Koff. After fighting off droids on the main bridge of the enemy cruiser, the three were able to rescue the Jedi Master. When Kenobi informed his fellow Jedi that Grievous had defeated him in a duel and had escaped, Adi pursued the cyborg. The two later encountered each other, participating in a brief lightsaber duel. Unfortunately, Gallia could not stop him, but at least Koff was back in safe hands. Later in the wars, Gallia was present alongside other High Council members when Delta Squad presented the bodies of Jedi Master Halsey and his Padawan Nox, who were both slaughtered at the Jedi Temple on Deveron. Though the Council were quick to accuse one of Count Dooku's assassins of committing the murders, they were mystified by the brutality of each kill. It wasn't until surveillance footage was analysed that the Jedi were able to identify the killer. Unfortunately, their new threat, Savage Oppress, was not finished raining terror upon the Jedi Order, especially Gallia. When Evan Piel was imprisoned by the Separatists in the deadly prison, the Citadel, an elite strike team led by Kenobi and Skywalker rescued the Jedi Master. However, pursued by the prison's evil commandant, Ozi Sebek, they found themselves trapped on Lola Sayu. To counter this, another rescue team departed to rescue the rescue team who rescued PL. It's all very rescuey. Anyway, Gallia and her red striped starfighter flew alongside Kit Fisto and CC10 to the Citadel. They all helped clear a path for Plo Koon to land a gunship on the planet, safely extracting the party. Unfortunately, PL had been killed during the escape, which saddened every Jedi. After helping with relief efforts on Aline, Gallia's Jedi cruiser was ambushed by Grievous, crippling the ship's main reactor within seconds. Whilst evacuating, she encountered the General. After a brief lightsaber duel, Adi was captured. With her own cruiser destroyed, she was held on Grievous's flagship. However, she wasn't stationed there long as Kuhn, aided by the wolf pack, arrived to free her. The Jedi Master's final involvement in the Clone Wars was helping Obi-Wan track the resurrected Darth Maul and his Sith brother, Opress. Following clues from the brother's previous known locations, the Jedi found them on the planet Florum, where they were building an army of pirates. The four quickly wound up in lightsaber duels, with Kenobi taking on Maul whilst Gallia faced Opress. Unable to cope with Savage's overwhelming strength, she was soon on the defensive. Before long, the Jedi was catapulted with a telekinetic blast into nearby junkyard debris. Dazed, she was rammed by Opress's horns, impaling her torso. To finish Gallia off, he drove his lightsaber into her body. Left alone to fight both brothers, Kenobi used his fallen comrade's blade. Though he couldn't avenge Adi, he did partially cut off Savage's arm. 
In the wake of Gallia's death, her High Council seat sat vacant for some time until her younger cousin, Stassa Lee, filled the role. Unfortunately, she too would perish not long after, as well as nearly all of the Jedi, in Order 66. Now it's time for this week's question. What do you think would have happened if Gallia hadn't died? Would she have survived Order 66? Let me know in the comments below. I just want to say a massive thank you to one of my followers on Twitter, Sam D, who updated my profile picture to make the cockerel a Sith Lord. He done such a good job, I really do appreciate the work he done. However, the new cockerel Sith Lord needs a name, and that's where everyone else comes in. I'm personally thinking Darth Pulpatine, you know, a mix of Pulley, Chicken and French, and Palpatine. But let me know what you would name him. I would say or her, but I think hens are the females. You know what, now is not the time for animal lore. Remember to vote for next week's episode by liking one of the free comments below. And for more Star Wars lore, keep it locked here. To the Kangas. Ben's first step towards that goal was to break away from his Jedi training and kill his peers. Falling down the path to the dark side, Ben ensured his uncle was unable to restore the Jedi Order. Participating in many encounters during the conflict, the Philo- the, Ah, I keep saying Fallopian. Is it a Fallopian? <laughs> yeah, uh, the, the Fallopian tube, that seems legit. Like, you know, that's like the fourth time I have recorded that now and just said Fallopian every time. Take five. Adi Gallia was a Jedi Master who sat on the Jedi How How the How Council. What <laughs> the Jedi How Council? <laughs> oh, I suck at commenting. 